Are you having trouble creating a dynamic and interesting arrangement? If you are, then keep watching as we're going to go over the music production rule of three. What's up everyone, it's Daniel here from Upstream Squad. So we all have those tracks that just don't have enough interest in their arrangement. And we can't put our finger on exactly what is lacking interest and what we need to add or what needs to change. Like with many things in music production, there are many factors that affect how interesting your arrangement will be. But there is one tip that we can apply that will definitely help you with a lot of your tracks and help you get a more interesting arrangement from section to section. So that brings us to the rule of three. So what exactly is the rule of three? It's very simple. Every eight bars make three changes in the arrangement. And those changes can be big or small. You can add in a new instrument. You could take away instruments. You could add in an effect sound. You can add in another drum hit that plays throughout the eight bars. You could add in some sort of vocal chop, really anything, any change. And the genre or style that you're working in will dictate these changes. So let's say you have a future bass track that is very dynamic. You have the big drop with the synths playing, the vocals, the heavy drums, and then you have the breakdown, which is very melodic, has a lot of filtered pads and just maybe a vocal playing. This type of track will usually have bigger changes when you go from section to section, as opposed to like a tech house track where you might have very minor changes every eight bars. Maybe you add in another hi-hat, maybe you add in just another background noise, much smaller changes. Again, the genre or style will dictate how big these changes should be. And while it is the rule of three, you don't have to stick to just three changes. You can of course have more changes than this. I've just found that doing less than three every eight bars makes the track a little bit stale. So let's get into the DAW and show you what I'm talking about. So let's just go over an example of a track I have pulled up here of the changes every eight bars. We got our little track mapped out here with the intro, then we got eight bars and then a verse, another eight bars verse two, another eight bars build, another eight bars drop. So let's listen to the intro and then listen to the verse and here are the three changes. Can you see the trees growing, growing from the ground? Beautiful and pure energy. So in the intro here, we had our little kick playing in the background. And then we had our bass pad playing. We had our vocals. And then we had our Foley. And then once the verse hit, we had our vocals come in. So this is our first major change here. Growing from the ground. And then we had the second change. We had the bells come in. And then we had our keys come in. So this was the third change. All three of these are pretty major changes. The bells was a pretty minor. It's, it's more in the background. And then we had our cinematic drum hits come in. So for this, we had four changes and the track felt like it was progressing. You could tell that a new section was playing and you didn't lose interest in the track after the intro. If that intro would have gone on a little bit longer, it would have felt a little too stale. So again, the rule of three, add at least three changes to the track, no matter how big or small. And this again will depend on the genre or style that you're working in. So I highly encourage you guys to use the rule of three. Every eight bars, make three changes to your track regardless of how small or big these changes are. At least three changes. 
So that's it for this little bite-sized tutorial, everyone. I wanna thank you guys for stopping on by. I hope you learned something, and I hope this helps you with your productions. If you wanna see more little bite-sized tutorials like these, make sure to follow us on Instagram at upstreamsquad underscore and upstreamsquad on YouTube. To the top.